after what seems like months of waiting, it's time to open up the fuselage. So everything was very well packaged. Um, I didn't have to deal with the shipping company because I'm only about 20 minutes away from Aurora, but I was very pleased with how well everything came out. So with all of the parts in the kit and going through the inventory, I only found a few things that were missing, and within about a week I had all of the parts, including the pieces that were on back order. I've heard from some people that you don't really need a bandsaw, but honestly, I use it almost every day. I have the medium and the fine Scotch-Brite deburring wheels, which I also use on a regular basis. I really need to attach this to the floor somehow, but I don't want to put holes in my garage floor at this point. I've been working on the fuselage for a little over a week now, and so far it's really enjoyable. There's a lot less um, repeating the same step over and over, and you really have to pay attention to the instructions to make sure you're not screwing something up because it's not quite as obvious what you're doing each step of the way. Well, it is unfortunately time to admit to a very stupid and costly mistake, and this mistake is by far the most expensive one I've made so far. I accidentally drilled a hole in my left landing gear mount where it did not belong. So, let's see if I can find it here. So, it's a little hard to see, but right in here, that does not belong there and that hole comes right through here and I'll show you how I made this mistake you need to drill through here and here and here and you put a bushing in and I ended up using a long drill bit because I didn't think a regular one was long enough which turned out to be incorrect and you put this one through, and you put the bushing through the second one here. It stops the same place, but when you put this drill bit through, you'll notice that it goes all the way through. Let's see if I can get a better shot of this. You can see that it goes through, and I ended up just continuing to drill and put a hole right where it did not belong. Now, some people probably think that it would have been fine to use it like that, but I didn't want to take a chance on a part that is undergoing a lot of stress every single time you land, and I just decided to bite the bullet and pay the money. Unfortunately, it was $350.
if somebody out there wants to save some money on theirs and is willing to take a chance on having an unnecessary hole in their landing gear mount, I'd be happy to give it up if someone wants to come pick it up. I have no idea if that's a safe or a smart thing to do, but I'd rather not throw it into a landfill if someone can put it to good use. So it's kind of been a while since my last video, partly because I was waiting for the fuselage to show up and partly because I've just been having more fun building it than making videos, but I should have some more videos available in the next week or so.